In this short video, we'll highlight the major new updates in MarketSite 10.9. In this release, we've completely redesigned the interactive controls for filters in crosstabs, charts, and dashboards, made several improvements to the dashboard design tools, including the ability to stream videos in dashboards, we've also added support for the dimensions data format, made it possible to analyze text variables by adding keywords to them, added the ability to export crosstabs directly to PowerPoint, made various charting improvements, such as mixed chart types and additional formatting options, and added an entirely new chart wizard that lets you create a chart without making a crosstab first. In 10.9, our redesigned filters appear throughout the application, but really shine on interactive dashboards. New filter controls are available, such as sliders, radio buttons, and date selectors. In addition, the filter panel itself can be moved and formatted to integrate with your dashboard design. In 10.9, dashboards can now stream videos. Adding a video to a dashboard is simple. Browse for the file on your computer and add it to the dashboard. Then anyone who views this dashboard will be able to play the video. Finally, designing your dashboard has been made easier with the addition of Align and Group tools. MarketSite now supports Dimensions datasets. Simply upload the .mdd and .ddf files, and MarketSite will do the rest. In 10.9, you can now tag your open-end variables with keywords. Once you've placed your open-end into a data view, simply click on any record to open the tagging dialog. Once I save, MarketSite creates a new keyword variable. This keyword variable can be used in crosstabs for statistical analysis. Crosstabs themselves have been updated in MarketSite 10.9. You can now easily limit the amount of data shown to the top end values, or show data only above or below a set threshold. In addition, crosstabs now export directly to PowerPoint, no more copy-pasting from Excel. These exported tables can have unique formatting controlled by your custom PowerPoint templates. We've also added some new display options for various chart types. For example, scatter plots, which can be made from data views, can now be extensively formatted. If I change the color and size options as seen here, my chart now clearly shows any viewer the intensity of usage and the amount paid by a user. The final new feature we'd like to show you in this video is the new chart wizard. This new feature enables you to create a chart without having to create a crosstab first. The process is easy and takes just seconds. Simply click on any basic chart type to begin. Most types will have additional styles if you click on the arrow below. In the case of a stacked column chart, you'll select a variable for the horizontal axis, and then a variable that will be shown in the chart legend. You'll be able to choose which calculation you'd like to chart, and then finally, you can add any variables you would like to use as filters. MarketSite displays your chart for you, and you can make additional customizations. This new feature can save lots of time when you need to create new charts. We hope you enjoy these new features in MarketSite 10.9, and thanks for watching!